Today is Sunday, I'm going to be doing top-down analysis. So we are going to be learning about top-down analysis today. If you are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe and follow me on Binance so that you can receive daily trading signals and also what is currently happening in the crypto market. Make sure you follow Ascanda. You can see we are over 75,000, 27,000 uh, members of Binance currently. Click the first link to join the VIP membership group. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel here. In this video, I'm going to just take Bitcoin and go over what we call top-down analysis using technical knowledge and see uh, your view of the market. This is the four-hour time frame or let's say one-hour time frame of XRP. So with the XRP, you can see each candlestick so if you go and select one minute, meaning each candlestick that you are currently seeing have taken like one minute to form. So have you seen this candlestick have taken one minute to form this candlestick? So each candlestick on this chart right now have taken one minute to form. That's what we call time frame. So if I go and click here again, then I go to like one hour time frame. I'm now looking at the market in an hourly manner. I'm now looking at the market in an hourly manner so you can see we have this particular pin bars they have all taken one hour to form then i will click here again then i go for four hours meaning all these candlesticks out you are seeing if you have even read the pdf that i shared in there for you when you join the private community you can even see that i always give you a chart pattern pdf that show you how to identify these market directions so for us to start with the top-down analysis, let's go and, uh, and pick the father of cryptocurrencies that's Bitcoin. So you search for btc.p, uh, right? .p. So you now select the uh, exchange that you are using. If you are using an exchange like Bybit, so majority of my students from Nigeria are using Bybit. If you are in Ghana right now or Kenya or South Africa, you can use Binance. So for those in Australia, UK, and Canada, some of them are using OKX and KuCoin or BitGet. So I am using Binance right now. So I'll just select on Binance. So once I select on Binance, make sure it's usually perpetual, perpetual. Always make sure it's on perpetual. So I can reduce the chart to the minimum level so that we'll be able to do our analysis, right? So you can see these are the trades that we took over the past week this was able to hit our one is to two this one this one one is to three this one this one hit our stop loss this one one is to three this to one this one two one is to three this one and this one two. the market is currently reversing to hit a support level and rise again so don't think bitcoin will go to 50k no it can go to 60k right now but the when market opens tomorrow, we'll be anticipating that Bitcoin will go to either 67k or let's say 70k. Yes. So for now, what we are going to do is we'll go for top-down analysis. To do top-down analysis, we'll start from the higher time frame to the lower time frame. So you need to start from higher time frame, like the monthly time frame, up to one hour time frame. Today is Sunday, right? Before the week will start, I'll already take my trades. I'll already set up all the things that I'm going to do on Bitcoin. Because Bitcoin moves 70% of the altcoin movement. If Bitcoin is rising, the alternative tokens will also rise. When I say alternative tokens, I'm talking about BNB, Ethereum, FTM, Link, Chainlink, on all these tokens apart from Bitcoin. Is called alternative tokens okay so I will start from the one month time frame to see the direction right now then after that we'll move to the one hour time frame we'll go up to the one hour time frame once you understand the market direction you will know how to be taking your trades either you should be buying or you should be selling that's what people get it wrong it doesn't matter whether you have a juju strategy what you need to know is that at any point in time the market moves three ways it's either it's going down or it's going up or it's consolidating 
when the market is going down we call it bearish market when the market is going up we call it bullish market or an uptrend if the market is moving up we call it an uptrend if the market is moving down we call it a downtrend if the market is moving zigzag if it's consolidating if it's moving in a parallel way it has not shown any clear direction just stay away from it so if you ever wake up in a day and you can't see the direction of the market don't trade whether you are having a strategy that tells you to buy or sell don't do that so we are going to start from the six month session so and we'll reset the chart so just click on reset here so have you seen for the past two years bitcoin has been rising even using at the six month section you can even see there was a huge market pullback this is just to tell you that bitcoin will not stop bitcoin is really going to go to like 80k or 100k but what some of you usually mistakenly do is that you think because someone said bitcoin is going to 100k it will just go straight to 100k no it can go to 70k come back to 20k because where you are buying someone is selling there okay so now what i'll do is i'll go to the down the like let's say we go to three months on the six months you can even see the market is currently rising it's bullish look at the three months also have you seen this pin bar if you have read my pdf you know that anytime you see pin bars with support level like this it's telling you that the market will continue to rise whether you like it or not they will go to the one one month time frame have you you are now seeing how things are making sense have you seen these pullbacks to the upside but when you go to one minute and five minutes and 15 minutes it will be telling you to sell now you sell and the market to rise within two to three hours then you see that any time that i buy the market goes down and any time that i sell the market goes up it's your fault because you don't do top-down analysis you don't sit down and ask yourself what is the general movement of the market what is the market structure is the market bearish or uh, bullish if the market consolidating then you now know how you take your decisions okay so we'll move to the weekly time frame so even looking at the weekly time frame no one will tell you that we are still in a bullish market okay but because last week we we're seeing some downtrend and now everything is back to normal bitcoin is currently making an up movement so because of that all the alternative tokens will even be rising so you should know this i told you to follow me on binance and click the first link it's my responsibility to teach you how to trade but you can't be watching youtube video expecting to make money you need to pay the price for a correlated information a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to do it even you watching this video will teach you but you need to come close to me so that i can teach you you need to pay you get it so you click here then you go to daily time frame so now that we know the direction of the market each time we are going to take a trade when you wake up you are supposed to select like the daily time frame the four hour time frame and the one hour time frame the one hour time frame we are going to use it for our stop loss and take profit then the daily time frame is just to show us the market direction within one to four four or eight hours because we are day traders okay so now click here again they will go to four hour time frame okay so looking at the four hour time frame you can see the market is bullish so this whole week when you are going to be taking a trade you should be thinking of buying that's what is going to be in your mind so from monday to friday unless on tuesday the market direction changes but for now anytime you are going to take a trade either on solana bnb ethereum FTM, chain link from today's date up to friday after doing this top-down analysis no one should tell you that majority of those in the market are biased you can even see the trend line here 
But when we are in an uptrend, don't expect it to just go straight upward. No. It doesn't work like that. It is just like real life. If we are in an uptrend, the market will move like 10 pips or 20 pips full back. Because some people cannot hold their trades. So what they will do is they will close their trades on Friday. So if they close their trades on Friday, you see the market dropping a little. Monday, it start pumping again. So this is how you do top-down analysis on Bitcoin. The reason why I mainly selected Bitcoin is because Bitcoin controls 70% of the alternative coins movement. So if you are going to do your analysis to trade, do your analysis on Bitcoin to see the direction before you now do your analysis on either BNB, Solana, Ethereum. Because if Bitcoin decides to go up, all the coins will follow. If Bitcoin decide to go down, all the coins will also go down. Avoid trading on weekend. And we also know we have what we call trading sessions. In the next video, I'm going to be showing you how to trade London session and New York session. As I told you before, make sure you follow me on Binance. The name is Askanda here. And you can click the first link so that you join the community and text me on WhatsApp, right? Subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video. You are going to be learning trading sessions which is very important for you to become a profitable trader.